We really destroyed this backplate. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the thermal pad mod. So we're inside our steam deck here and what we're going to do is we're going to lift off this heat shield. It's aluminum heat shield and we're going to talk about some things that you're going to see that are different from your steam deck if you were to open a stock one from home. First of all, obviously, I colored the fan in. That was for a different mod. But let's look at our SOC and work from the top down. Pretty much everything from all the way to right here is going to look pretty much like yours. This is not a OEM's thermal pad. I lost that one. And this is a Gillad one, a 0.5 millimeter thermal pad there. But it's about the same proportion. I think it might be roughly the same amount of heat transferring ability but i don't know so that's going to be first of all different everything else below is going to be a little bit crazier so these thermal pads here on these vrms and mosfets and these vrms here are all stock i just chopped them up because there's different height variations to some of these uh vrm and mosfets so i chopped them all up so the height varies varies variations wouldn't be too crazy i don't know if it's actually going to help i just thought about doing it uh did it for a video so i did it um everything else in here is um pretty much stock this is a stock thermal pad that goes over here um this thermal pad goes to this vrm um this one goes to that vrm and this one goes into our ic chip you'll see a copper shim here on our ic chip and that's because this blue one was the original thermal pad and i destroyed it so it didn't it no longer had good contact in the ic chip so i did a three millimeter thermal pad with a copper shim and a another three millimeter thermal pad to make a nice sandwich. Um, one thing in the first video is we stack thermal pads. Uh, after some research, um, it is not advisable to stack thermal pads. And it's not because they don't work if you stack them. The problem is, is when stacking thermal pads together, you might get air trapped in between them, which will become an insulator meaning heat transferring will not be as great as it would be if there was no stack thermal pad. So that's why you want to stay away from it. Um, but if you do do it, make sure you try to get as much air out of it as possible. Make sure you, you, you smash the crap out of that thing. Like you're going to smash the like and then smash that subscribe button in this video. So those are the things about stacking thermal pads. All right. Really simple mod, guys. Um, if your Steam Deck is completely stock, all you need is to purchase a one millimeter thermal pad. And all you're going to do with that pad is you're going to place it along this heat pipe right here. Just right there along the top part of the heat pipe. I already have my thermal pads cut. This is a one millimeter thermal pad. I'll show you right there one millimeter or 0.9 it's a little compressed and we're just going to put it on this top part right here just right there then we have another piece right here there we go and one more thing we're going to do is we're just going to add you don't have to do this but uh, since we're in here, I say, why not? We're just going to make the surface area a little bit louder, larger on the APU um, by just adding some more thermal pads on there. And the one that goes on the APU is a 0.5 millimeter thermal pad, which is this destroyed one right here. So everything in the bottom, VRM, MOSFET, all this stuff down here, right here, not touching. Everything up here, it's just a heat pipe, and that's one millimeter thermal pad. And then right here, we just changed out the thermal pad here for a 0.5 millimeter uh, thermal pad. And all of the thermal pads I am using is by a, a brand called Gelad. This stuff right here, great stuff. Um, this one in particular is... Uh, conductivity is 15 really good stuff really good price um so that's what we did and that's it 
Everything else in the bottom, you don't need to do. You can keep it completely stock or and or you can just keep the APU section completely stock and only do the heat pipe. That's it. That's all you have to do. Like I was saying earlier, this mod was intended to be done with a corresponding mod, whether that was a JSOX backplate. And the reason why you want to do it with the JSOX backplate, because it ties the heat that's coming from the APU and the heat pipe and the rest of the SOC, the VRMs and the MOSFET, the IC controller down here to the heat shield, which then the heat shield is making greater contact to the back of the JSOX backplate. And that backplate is this one right here. Um, mine's painted, but it's this aluminum sheet. You're just getting better contact from the SOC and the heat pipe to this aluminum shield, which in turn heats up the back plate. And if you got a heat sink there, it'll be able to transfer heat to the exterior of the steam deck a lot better. All right, but with all that said, the thermal pad mod was not intended for a stock steam deck backplate. It just was, I, I didn't create the mod for this because that mod was intended for the original mod that we did, which was cutting a ventilation hole in the back of our steam deck. But the thermal pad mod works great for something like the JSOX backplate because we're transferring more heat from the SOC to the heat shield, and which we can pull to the backplate and transfer it over to another cooling solution, a uh, 40 mil heat sink with a 40 mil fan. You can see in that it just allows you to cool the system more efficiently. And this is just going off the top of my head, but our prior testing thermal pad mod, no thermal pad mod, we saw an increase of 50% on the back plate, meaning we, let's say we got, let's say if we got four degrees without the thermal pad mod, we would get eight with the thermal pad mod using the JSOX backplate. So it's definitely intended to use for a modded Steam Deck, whether that's a backplate mod or something like our ultimate Steam Deck mod, which was technically not this, which was also intended for like another mod with some type of ventilation. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. So yeah, thermal pad mod was intended for a steam deck that is modded whether you have the jsox backplate or you're going to cut a ventilation hole in your backplate that's what this mod was intended for and it was actually intended to keep, keep the ic chip and some of the vrms a lot cooler since we took out this intake port but other than that guys um if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below uh, if you like this video, hit that like. If you loved it, hit that subscribe. But other than that, guys, I will catch you on the next one.